I live in Southern Oregon and finally it rained really good last couple of nights and it provides a perfect opportunity to talk about moisture content and wood movement. This is one of the decks that I put around my house. I installed it about 10 years ago. And if you look at this miter, you'll see that it's opened on the long point. And this one has two. The short point's nice and tight, but the long point is open. And that's because the wood took on moisture after we cut this miter. When wood takes on moisture, it swells across the grain. And as it swells across the grain, if you've cut a miter in it, the miter doesn't move at the short point, but it moves at the long point. It moves in this direction as the piece swells up. It becomes more obtuse. Kind of like me, obtuse. I didn't know this when I installed the thermary. And let me prove to you that it happens every single time. Here's another deck. It's already starting to dry off from last night's rain and that miter's open too. And at this end of the deck, this miter's open too, which proves my point. I try to ignore the geese. It's that time of year. And the point is, as wood takes on moisture, it swells. Now the thermary I used on my decks around my house is an often awesome wood decking product. And that's why I like it, because it's wood. But it's been thermally processed. They call it modified. They take the wood and they put it in a kiln and they heat it up to about 400 degrees. It'll burn at 400 degrees. So they spray in a little water, kind of steam it a little bit so it won't burn. And that heat cooks out the lignin and the soft stuff inside of the wood. So it's no longer like attractive to bugs and insects. And it won't absorb moisture, so it doesn't rot. And because it doesn't absorb moisture, it doesn't move very much at all. Here's another deck I put in down at the cabin close to the river. And if we look at these miters, we'll see the same thing happened. The long points opened on every one of them. Now, obviously, this is something with all these examples. That's a fact, you can't argue with it. So what do you do? How do you handle that? Well, the wood comes from the factory at about 6% moisture content and it's thermally modified so it doesn't absorb most, much moisture, but it does absorb a little. And obviously if you install it as wood decking outside in Southern Oregon, it's gonna get wet. Let me show you one more deck here. This is the deck we recently put in right down at the water on the river. And check these miters out. They're still closed, pretty tight. This one too. That one's pretty tight too. Even Sassy says, now that's a good miter. The reason these miters down here are still tight is because I realized the mistake I made with the miters up at the house. Instead of installing the, the material at 6% moisture content, just as it came from the factory, I soaked all these deck boards down here at the river. Every one of these I soaked with a hose, especially these boards around the perimeter that get mitered. I soaked them so they'd absorb moisture before I installed them. And the point is, you want to acclimate your material to the environment it's going to live in before you install it. And this is a perfect example. I brought the moisture content up to probably, oh, 7%, 8%, something like that. And that was enough to avoid an obtuse mistake. I waited for this deck to dry out a little bit so I could bring a moisture meter down here and show you what I was talking about. Check this out. Here's a piece of thermary. It's been stored up in my lumber shed and the moisture content is 6%, just as I said before. Now let's check out what the deck measures. 
over here. Up 7.7, almost 8%. That's almost 2% more moisture content than the wood had when it arrived from the manufacturer. 2% doesn't sound like much because for 2%, the wood's only going to move a half a percent. But a half a percent in a five and a half inch board is just under a sixteenth of an inch. And if you take two boards, because there's two boards in a miter, you add them up, that's almost an eighth of an inch gap. And that explains why my miters opened up almost an eighth of an inch. If you want to know more about moisture content and wood movement, download the chart. You can get it right off the articles on This Is Carpentry. I put a link to two articles on moisture content and wood movement right in the description below.